so I had the request the other day about kind of the basics of tumbler making. Um, someone had asked, you know, about mixing their epoxy, um, applying vinyl, they were just getting into it. So it's all the basic stuff. Uh, we will be working on the cups we were working on last time. And we are, oh, am I on the wrong account, y'all? I think I'm on the wrong account. I'm on my personal one. That's okay. Um, so what we're going to do is the basics of tumbler making. We're going to be applying our tooled leather look to um, the cup we had started last time. And we are going to, as you can see, I have epoxied and applied the, um, kind of like my white marble. It's the um, Armor Art. I thought I had it sitting around here. The Armor Art from Counterculture. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I applied that. So from here, what I want to do is I'm going to, I have water slide and I'm going to put this on there. But to make this pop, I'm going to first apply white vinyl. Okay, so that way it really shows through. Um, so what I did is I'm a silhouette girl. I had my my thing I made and I offset it and I offset it just enough that I didn't have a lot of crazy little baby holes inside here. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get the comments up on my big screen. Um, so if I did have little baby ones inside there, what I did was I released the path and then I went and I just deleted them out of there so that I'm not weeding tiny little things. I did have one big one and I liked the way it looked, so I left that one in there. So we'll do that second. The first thing I want to do, put this back, is I'm going to apply the tooled leather. So as I told you guys in the last one, you want, I would prefer a paper to be honest, but paper's not clear. So this is not super, super sticky, um, and that's what I want because I don't want it to pull off my alcohol inks from this. So I did notice that I did not weed out everything. This y'all here, I got it on Amazon from Tech Wrap. Tech Wrap has amazing vinyl, but they also have the pin pen. So it's like a little needle on the tip of the pen. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch you here real quick and put you up here so that you can see what I'm working on. Okay, so I found little pieces that I did not weed out the first time. So I'm going through and finding those. I think I got them all. Okay, so from here, grab me some of this. Uh, I don't think I have a cradle in here. We packed them up for Tumblr Con, which we're almost sold out of. So excited. We're sold out of the in-person, but the TumblrCon virtual, we are on our last couple of them. So if you haven't got your ticket, if you've been waiting, now's your time. Get your TumblrCon. Okay. And then, like I said, this is kind of a basic, so I'm going to go through all the little steps. If you're an experienced Tumblr maker, I'm sure you know many of this. Um, you want to make sure that it's pushed down. Okay, so that when you peel it off, and when you peel, I have found that if you kind of peel straight back, it works a whole lot better. Lost a piece. 
that. And I really don't have a super nice straight spot to help me line up. So I am going to guess. I'm trying to get this beginner's piece of tape off. Oh, there we go. Now I can see my whole design. Okay, so I like to not start completely in the center. Call me crazy. And I'm a little tilted. That's okay. Good news is we can lay down some of our pieces and we can lift it and start back over. I'm going to, real quick, because I'm trying to do this for a camera and not lay down a certain way. See, as I was telling you, I wasn't completely straight. That's okay. I can fix that and make it look good still. I don't know if you guys can hear it, Crystal is out there jamming while packing Tumbercon kits. I was going to lift it back up and replace it so what I'm trying to do is get my carrier sheet back underneath some of the pieces so that when I pull it back up I do have to finish laying this top part though since it's one giant piece far and then this is the piece I peeled back up so that I can get it straight and what I'll do is I'll go back through it with an exacto knife and cut those so that's the first half I'm making sure all my pieces are pushed down sorry if I'm missing uh, comments here piece now when I lay the second piece I now have a straight line I can line up to because remember I mirrored my image so what I'm going to do and again it wasn't straight to begin with so I'm just going to lay a few of the pieces that have to be mirrored
I'm going to go back with this and lay it in where it looks good and kind of back to centered. Nope, no peekaboo. This is uh, just plain white vinyl that we took alcohol ink to. And I did seal it with clear spray paint. Like I said, I let it dry about a day. I, cle I clear spray paint, sealed it yesterday. did overlap just a little bit so I'm gonna just go stick my piece where it looks good somewhere else it's the good thing about tool uh, leather patterns actually I'm gonna take up this whole piece is no one really sees when you mess up. Come on. It, one piece laid on top of the other piece. I'm trying to get it off. There it goes. And then there is one. I don't know where he came from. Okay. Looks good, looks good. I did see when I was laying it down. One of the pieces that I didn't pull earlier. leather and then I need an exacto knife but I'm gonna use scissors it'll be, all right. it'll be fixed when I clean my rim one until after I epoxy it. After I epoxy it, I got, where'd it go? I got some options because I wasn't sure what would show up. I think that might be too light for clear water slide. So I got a darker one that I think I'm going to go with for dad's lucky cup. So this I'm going to, in a minute, when we're done, I'm going to seal with quick coat and I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So put that up. This one over here, I'm going to show you my trick. First, I'm going to lay my vinyl. So let me get some more. And this one will be quick and easy. So I 
cut a little piece of transfer tape and I'm going to apply it onto my vinyl. And I'm going to stick it on my cup. Make sure I'm centered. I feel like that's a little low. I always put the center down first and then go out on the edges. Okay, push it down and then you should be able to peel right off. Okay, done with that. Now I'm going to lay my water slide. So I have my nice little tray of water right here. And I'm, this, by the way, is Sunny Scopa. It's on Amazon. And if you, this is laser, so I didn't have to seal it. Um, they do have a thick option. If you're able to get thick from them, do it. It is night and day difference. So regular uh, water slide paper, like the edges will roll up on you when you're trying to put it on. This stuff does not. It is so easy and foolproof. I absolutely love it. Okay, so here's my way of, let me tilt you down, applying water slide. So I take the back of my paper, it's wet, right? I rub it across to get my surface wet. Then, I hold the side and I just pull it out, okay? From here, I'm going to reposition it so that it's right where I want it. And I cannot find my, y'all, I usually use um, coffee filters. Coffee filters, where's my coffee filters? I don't see them. I think I packed them away for TumblrCon. So we're going to do the old way, which is, as soon as I find it, a foam brush. Okay. Y'all, I have no idea where my coffee filters went. I think they're on the trailer for Tumblr Cotton. So I just use a foam brush and I have a microfiber rag. This is how I learned to do water slides back in the day before I graduated to the coffee filters. Coffee filters, you just fold up and you just rub. And it's amazing and beautiful. And it absorbs the water. And I hold it about like this, right? Because I want to push and not have my fingers scratch it or tear it. Which the good thing about this thick water slide is it is a lot harder to tear. There you have it. This mama lost her marbles, y'all. So, let me flip you around real quick before we go to the next page. Because once it's wet, I can't show you. So, the other day, we made the marble topper, right? So, this is going to be the mama lost her marbles. There's literally marbles. Isn't that cool? And... 
Then Dad's Lucky Cup, the one that looks like leather, okay? That is the one that we made the dice topper. The foam's down in there, it's not pushing. So that'll be Dad's Lucky Cup. We use poker chips and dice for the top. And like I said before, I think I'm gonna end up using this since it's darker water side. Um, but first we have to epoxy it. So let me show you how we seal this. So normally even with vinyl, um, whether it was um, I used alcohol ink or not, I still seal it. Uh, these tops are pretty heavy, but they're removable. So the tops we made yes, the, in the last live, um, they have magnets on them. Oh, one came off and they're removable so that you can wash and use just the lid by itself so they are heavy though um so i'm going to seal this i'm going to seal it with quick coat from counterculture and i'm even going to seal this one because if for some reason there's an air bubble or whatever i don't want my epoxy to get under that and lift the water slide. So I like to seal it. I'm gonna go over it one more time. I did see a little, little water on there still. I'm just wiping down my cup with the rag. Um, I have not tried the car coaster. So the reason why I like these is these are the toppers from Truly Divinal, okay? She made them to custom fit the bottom of her lids. So you're still able to keep your slider, you're still able to keep your straw gasket, and you're able to get a perfectly flat connection with the lid to get those magnets on there because... I mean, even though this is heavy, the magnets are holding it, right? Um, and then that way, I mean, it's just the perfect fit for it, um, right? So, I have not used car coasters. Uh, and I have also seen people use like those acrylic pieces that they cut like on their Glowforge and stuff. Again, the slope of the lid isn't completely like this it's it's down a little bit right so if you're using a flat thing it's going to sit funny in the top of it just my just my two cents on it all okay let me move this and let's go back up top all right Tilt you right there. Now I can't see comments like this, so bear with me if I don't answer. Um, you can use a brush. I'm going to just use my finger. So load your cups up, turn them on. I'm going to do this one first since it's been sitting longer. Give that a little more time to dry. Um, you can pour this in a cup um, and you use a paintbrush. I am just going to pour it straight on there. Oh, there was a little clog on it. Now, you have plenty, 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 plenty of work time for this. And it doesn't take a lot. By the way, if you're interested in learning to do ice toppers, I'm going to be going live at noon um, central time in the counterculture group. The counterculture, counterculture artist support group. I will be in there doing my umbrella toppers and ice topper. Now, this is not epoxy, okay? It is basically, it's urethane, 
Okay, so polyurethane, it's urethane. Um, it's very watery. It dries in a few minutes. If you're like me and impatient and you want to make it dry faster, use a heat gun. It'll dry while I'm finishing this one. Give me one second, y'all. I've got to go. Woo! Hold on one second. I'll be back. I'm changing gloves because I did have a little bit of uh, alcohol ink on there on my glove and I don't want to get it on my other one so I'm gonna change gloves okay let's go over to mama's and we're gonna do the same thing welcome for anyone who's joining us I gotta be real honest, y'all. I thought I was on the Steel Magnolia page, and I'm not. I'm on my personal. We'll have to tag this over there for everyone to see. I really didn't need to do all that. I'm just talking and not thinking. You really only have to do muscle memory from epoxy, I guess. And get all around it make sure it's sealed and then I can throw some heat on there already starting to dry, already kind of sticky. I had Sorry, my husband was calling. it what I want to do is my epoxy so today I'm using medium viscosity these are the little bottles I put it in medium viscosity let's talk about it let's talk about it sorry okay medium viscosity is epoxy it's regular epoxy however it's thinner so it's not as thick as artist resin okay can you use click for glitter if you don't want to blend each other and use any more of them. Um, if you don't want to blend with each other. I would say no to that question. Um, I use clear spray paint if I don't want my, my glitters to touch. Okay? Because if you take your finger and you rub quick coat, you're going to rub your glitter. You're going to move your glitter. You're going to make a move. Um, I use this primarily 
for, I mean, you can use it to apply epoxy because like you just saw, it gets sticky. So you can put it on there and then put your glitter on this. Um, but you still, I would still recommend sealing it with clear spray paint. Um, if you're doing, if you don't want your colors to mix, your glitters to mix, I would recommend clear spray paint. Hey everybody, hey. Okay. So, medium viscosity, the ups and downs. The ups to it, you can do more cups with less, right? So, if you have an ounce of epoxy and you can do two cups, well, now it's thinner, so you're going to do a thin coat. Um, and it's going to go over more, like, it'll, you can do more cups. It is thinner, so you're not going to get a big, bulky cup with lots of epoxy. If it's something you know you're going to do lots and lots of layers of epoxy, try the medium if you need great coverage like you used a chunky i don't i wouldn't use medium viscosity it's going to take because like it's thin right it's going to take so many layers for medium viscosity use regular uh less bubbles because it's not as thick it's um Sorry, my husband's texting me like business and I'm like, I'm live. Um, what was I saying? It's not as thick. It's not as thick, so it doesn't have as many bubbles. I still heat my part A, which is what I'm about to do. Um, measuring cups. Now I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I hate measuring. I always do just a full cup of everything and I will find a cup to put the epoxy on. Because I'm only working on these two and I'm live, I'm going to be a good girl and I'm going to measure. I'm going to do, let's think. Like I said, it doesn't go as far. So I would do, we're going to do 20. It's still going to be too much. It's going to be way too much. So this is my A, right? Yeah, that's my A. Okay. So, we're at 20. So, 20, I know, husband's right. Mm -hmm. I gave him a to-do list and he's like asking me all these questions. Uh, heating plate. So, this is a candle warmer. It gets very hot. I take this and I set it right on top. And it's going to be there for a few minutes. I should have started heating it before I did all that. Um, I do give it a few minutes. So, we got a few minutes. What do you want to do? Let's talk about something. What do you want to talk about? Um, questions. I need questions, y'all. Y'all, I really messed up. I got 20 of y'all on here, and it's because I'm on my personal and not Steel Magnolia. I got to find a way to link it. I'll link it. Ooh, I wonder if I could go. No, I think that'll mess up the sound if I go live with myself on Steel Magnolia. questions y'all got we're waiting no Sezzle never got approved for virtual telecon so you have to put um, your application in and they said that basically our product is not a fit for them so it has its own separate website and I guess because there's really only one product on there they aren't okay with it I have no idea now that candle warmer doesn't burn the cup. What do you mean by that? I just have it sitting off to the side. It's hot, I can feel the heat off it. What questions, questions? What's everybody's plans for the weekend? 
Now spam's calling. Um, good, I'm glad you bought your virtual ticket. He's gonna be fun. So I know a lot of people were asking about what cups we we're doing. So I have all my wonderful instructors and each one of them is, I told them like mid July, they need to bring me their final project. So it's gotta be something that they've never done a tutorial on. Um, and that's why I'm giving them till mid July is because I feel like in the Tumblr world, there's so many new designs that come around um, in such a short period of time. So I'm giving them that time so that they can be most current and up to date for August TumblrCon, the virtual one. Um, and it'll be a, a tutorial that they've never taught before, never done before. Um, it's gonna be fun. And it's all gonna get saved. So it's going to be in, oops, I'm about to pop out. It's going to be in the TumblrCon virtual group. You can't get in unless you have your ticket um, and number and everything. And it'll all be saved there till October. So in case you can't follow along right with us, it will all be saved. Uh, what is TumblrCon? TumblrCon is the amazing Tumblr convention that we started last year. Um, this year it's a little different because of COVID and all of that fun stuff. Um, that's not really fun, but we did in-person retreats. We have one coming up next weekend. Um, those ones are all sold out. So we spent, we have 15 of us. We spend the weekend in an, a craft house and we spend the weekend doing tumblers. Now there's virtual. Virtual means I'm going to send you all kinds of glitter. I think there's like at least 20 different glitters. Uh, you get eight cups, you get the silicone mats, you get, um, oh, we had to change counterculture. So counterculture, we're getting an ounce of quick coat, the stuff I'm using today. Um, we're getting, don't hold me to this, 16 ounces of fast set, eight ounces of artist resin, and eight ounces of medium viscosity. Uh, we're getting, there was one other thing in there and I don't remember what it was. Uh, ooh, you get this amazing pack from Crystal Ninja. So it has like the um, little picker upper thingy, not the katana, the ta tanto, it's the tanto. So it's the picker upper, you get a pack of Kira Kira stones and we are going to decorate the phone grips. Um, I had one in here somewhere. So TumblrCon is great, especially if you're a beginner, it, it, you know, it goes for all levels of Tumblr making, it's awesome. Hey girl, hey, I'm trying to go back through all the old comments, sorry. Mine warped and epoxy went everywhere. Yeah, it does over time. I think the, these things, they do kind of bend over time. I've had epoxy all over mine. Um, what is my personal favorite tumbler shape? Uh, shape, the plump, because it's straight, it's easy to use. Uh, Kelsey made this one for me. Kelsey Scruggs made this one for me. I drink a lot, so I do like, here's my one I'm working on. Well, I haven't finished. I worked on it before. Um, I do like the True 32s. Um, I like the 32 ounces just because I do drink a lot. I carry a lot. Um, I'm going to set up for show this weekend. It was a bust. What? You've got to keep going. It's a crazy time in the Tumblr world. Like, it is so hit or miss. Don't get down if you just have one bad day. It'll get better, I promise. Um, will it be available to see? Yes, the videos for TumblrCon will be available um, through October 31st. So you have uh basically almost all of august september and october so you'll have three months to view the the videos yay you bought them crystal ninja is the best uh tumblr con you go to tumblrcon.com there are just a few 
uh, we've been, I've been getting the notifications that there's tickets being sold. So go grab you one. Um, Tomacon is a lot of fun. Next year, we're going to do it so big, so much better than last year and this year. Uh, we're going to have a, I want to have a huge vendor floor. I want people to be able to just come in, shop vendors. Um, and then we're going to have kind of a different setup for classes. Like right now, TumblrCon, you spend four days doing tumblers, sun up, sun down, you're doing tumblers. Um, I think for TumblrCon next year, we're going to do it a little bit smaller where it's just classes like you know come into this class to learn this come to this class to learn this we also want to talk more about business how to start your business your llc how to write things off um all that fun stuff instagram facebook uh taking pictures of your your cups want to do all of that uh tumblr con so the virtual tumblr con i believe is 319 uh, the in-person was $7.99, only because we had the venue and all of that. Um, cups with handles besides the coffees. 20 or 30 ounce. We are actually working on a 24 ounce travel mug. I had it all the way ready for production and I got a sample and it was awful. It looked so bad. It was, it was not pretty. So, answer that and we're working on another um we do did not carry the 30 ounce modern curve never have never will sorry tumblers here at steel magnolia i've designed i have a patent on them they're mine and i would say probably 95 percent of our tumblers are that way um they are not generics nobody can go to tum to china and buy my tumblers they are mine to own that's what makes Steel Magnolia a lot different than some of those other places out there. Um, we don't get mostly generics. Um, they are ours. Um, so. Bad thing. She almost sold out. Oh, that would stink. Wonder if hers were cheaper. Were they cheaper? Were her tumblers cheaper? Is that why she sold out? That's crazy. Okay, sorry. Did I get them all? Did I get them all? Okay. As you can see, it's super watery, y'all. Okay? It's time to get going. So, I'm going to tilt you down. I'm not going to put you all the way on top. I'm just going to sit you right here. So, ooh, that's a good one. A class to correct your mistakes. I like that idea. I have never thought about it, to be honest. And I like your idea, and I think I need to write that one down. Because I do like that. A mistakes class. Because we all make them. Uh, gnome cups. I personally have not seen the 25 ounce wine. Um... Is that the football one everyone does? Again, y'all, I don't like to go get generic cups. I like my own designs. Oh, look, what am I doing there? Um, so we'll have to see about that. Yes, keep going, keep going, girl. And the, also the other benefit for medium viscosity is that being thinner, it mixes faster. You don't have to be super slow with it, which is amazing in itself. I can stir pretty fast because it's very liquidy. Just 
What time is it? <gasps> I gotta go live and counterculture here in just a second. Ah! Yeah, I'm going, see look how fast I'm stirring this and see how clear it is. It's clear. It's got some, a few tiny bubbles, but not even close to what. And this was way too much epoxy for two cups. Just so y'all know. Girl, talk your hubby in to let you go. You need to go to TumbaCon. Okay, so. I'm trying to get you. Oh, knocking stuff over. So that you can see right there. Okay, so I always make sure my cups are rotating the direction that I'm applying my hand, right? So that when I dump it, it's going into my hand. Crystal's out there sweating in the swamp. Y'all, I don't know what is up with Texas and this humidity and this, it is not cool. This is, it is not what we're used to. I mean, at least it stopped raining, hallelujah. But now it's just muggy every day. And they took my fan next door. Oh, you go get your fan back, girl. Whew. They took Crystal's fan. All right, so a little bit about applying epoxy because this is a, a basics, okay? I start from the bottom and I go to the top, right? To get the rim, to make sure. I kind of give a little uh, right at the tip. I don't want to go really inside the cup, but I want to go all the way around. So I go from there all the way up and I scrape the extra in my cup, okay? Once I've gone all the way around, then I go from top around the bottom edge, okay? Just like that. And again, if I get too much on my finger, I swipe it in my cup. Um, I did heat my epoxy. So I always heat part A, and it was probably like five minutes worth on my candle warmer. Yeah. Texans are not used to humidity, y'all. We just, we don't do it. Okay, so, again, same thing. I pour some and I swipe. First, first time around, I'm just going to work on getting the cup covered. The next stages are when I'll clean it up. I think it is so incredibly important to go this way and around you don't want to stop there. That's how you're going to get that big thing, right? So start from the bottom, go to the top. Kind of give a little hook right as you get there. And I do have a video on cleaning up rims. I, oh, missed a spot. I, uh, I just posted it, I believe it finally finished loading, to the Steel Magnolia YouTube channel. Um, it is also on the Steel Magnolia uh, IGTV on that page. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to wrap my finger around the bottom. These turners are a little slow for me. We kept them a little slow in this room because we do hold classes in here. So you never know if someone will be new or experienced. So we did the medium. Okay. There's that. I have so much left over y'all. So much. Okay. Once this is done, uh, what I might do with that stuff is put it in a mold here in a second. Um, when I am done, one of the most important things that I think everyone should know 
is a torch. So this one is from Counterculture. Um, I like it because of the length. You turn your gas on, you turn your thing on, and you quick about it. Okay, too much heat, and you're gonna get bubbles and ripples, and you don't want that. So this is just to pop bubbles. So you see how fast I go on it, and I don't go over the same place twice. It's gonna pop all those micro bubbles if you did have any in there. Okay, boom, done. That's all you're gonna do. Problem with heat guns, heat guns don't get as hot. Heat guns aren't going to pop everything, okay? And heat guns will take more passes, which you could possibly overdo. So this, I'm gonna start with my logo. I know I ended here, so I'm gonna wait for it to roll around. And then I'm gonna hit it again. I think I ended about right here, which is about, okay. One quick pass, don't forget the bottom, okay? And then you turn it back off. And that, folks, is how to epoxy cups. That was the 101. So we have applied vinyl, we have applied water slide, we have applied epoxy. We have done the basics of tumbler making, y'all. We've talked about TumblrCon, we've talked about our lids. So this is my uh, Mama Lost Her Marbles lid, if you weren't in, I know I saw a lot of people join. And then this is my dice topper for Dad's Lucky Cup. That's what we worked on in Steel Magnolia the other day. Uh, if you need to see that video, it is saved on the Steel Magnolia Instagram. I didn't realize I was live on my personal page. I meant to be live on the Steel Magnolia page, so I will have to share this over there. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I have 30 minutes and I'm going to Counterculture's uh, artist support group and I'm going to go live. I'm going to show my ice toppers. So um, we do have the umbrella pieces on my personal website, which is lil, L-I-L, hamsinacup.com. Um, and they're little pieces to, you make a mold. Oh. Uh, Here's a few of them that I've made. Yeah, you make these molds with counterculture. They're, they have casting, uh, silicone casting molds. So you, um, this is the piece I sell. So you take this, you make a mold, and from that mold, you bend it when it's almost dry, and you have this, okay? So we're going to counterculture, and they also have one. I have one that doesn't have the straw hole if you want to just glue it onto the top of it there, okay? So we're going to go to counterculture in 30 minutes, and we're going to work on ice toppers and umbrellas. So if you're interested, join me there, and I will post all the information in my, oh, y'all, a nap. Get that gnat out of here. You don't want gnats on your cups. Ooh, no. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Um, I have enjoyed this. Okay. And I hope to see you over in Counterculture here in just a few minutes. I'm going to go grab lunch, and I'll see you there. Bye, guys.